Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and this is the Content Inc. Podcast. Five minutes every Monday for content creators who desire to be content entrepreneurs. Typically with podcast ads, there's a coupon code used to track engagement. You may have noticed the Lulu ads on this podcast haven't provided any codes at all. That's because creating an account and using Lulu is absolutely free. On top of publishing for free, you're on track to earn more as books are among the top three most profitable tactics to monetize your content. Turning your content into a printed book with Lulu has never been easier. Create a free account today at lulu.com. The year was 2009. Our content brand, called Junt42, was floundering. Now don't get me wrong, we were getting thousands to engage in our content online and many of those people signed up to receive our newsletter. But driving revenue was a huge problem. A lot of that had to do with the name. Now when we launched Junt42 in 2007, I thought it was an interesting Web 2.0 name. Its service was an e-harmony for content marketing, as we called it, a matching service for providers and customers. So I thought junta or junta, meaning meeting, among other things, was a nice touch. And since I couldn't acquire junta.com, I added my favorite number and voila, content brand engaged. But the name was a challenge. Abstract brand names can sometimes work and think of Patagonia or Nike, but for those to work, a ton must be spent on awareness and promotion. For us simple content entrepreneurs, any confusion about what the brand does is generally a problem. The simple truth was this. Any person who saw or heard of Junta42 didn't have a clue of who we were, what we did, or whether or not we were relevant. So let's go back to 2009. Struggling, we talked to dozens of our customers and audience members and realized we had a brand problem. Now, going into 2010, our subscribers were asking for education on content marketing, including research and in-person events, and the Content Marketing Institute brand was born. The change made an immediate impact. In less than a year, we hit a million dollars in revenue, and five years later, we hit 10 million. Now, you'd think I'd learn my lesson, right? But in 2021, we launched the Creator Economy Expo, or CEX, as the event for content creators serious about growing their content businesses. Creator economy as a term was the talk of the space, from social media creators like Mr. Beast to Web3 entrepreneurs like Gary Vaynerchuk. The creator economy was as sweet as new Coke, and yes, I know that's a 1980s reference. However, after a successful inaugural event in May of 2022, lumping CEX into the creator economy became increasingly challenging. More and more venture capitalists used creator economy to talk about their new software as a service instruments. New sites like The Information use creator economy to talk solely about influencer channels like TikTok and Instagram, mostly ignoring newsletters and podcasts. They lifted up the Kylie Jenners of the world, but rarely wrote about any of the content entrepreneurs we covered at the tilt. But the worst part? Our audience of content entrepreneurs didn't see themselves as part of the creator economy. For whatever reason, these bloggers, authors, writers, podcasters, and YouTubers didn't feel like creator economy spoke to what they were doing with their content businesses. Now that was a huge, huge problem. The Creator Economy Expo didn't speak to the people we wanted to attend. Now, after multiple meetings with the team and seemingly hundreds of conversations with our audience, we knew a change needed to be made. We wanted the event to be all about the attendees' needs and pain points, not the industries. We wanted the event brand to be both practical and aspirational. We wanted to say the name of the event and have our audience know exactly who it was for and what the purpose was. And last week, we were very, very proud to announce the rebrand that achieves that. CEX now stands for Content Entrepreneur Expo. See how we did that? Kept the CEX and everything? A content entrepreneur delivers consistent information to a group of people with plans to build a loyal audience and then monetize that audience over time. A content entrepreneur creates content to build a long-term successful business, not as a hobby. And a content entrepreneur generates revenue from their audience in multiple ways. 
And what's funny is I wrote an article about the importance of terms like content entrepreneur over two years ago when we launched The Tilt. That's how long it took me to make this important switch. Now, I know a lot of you out there suffer from the exact same problem. Does your name accurately reflect your content mission? Is your name holding you back from achieving your financial goals? As we roll into 2024, now is the perfect time to review and possibly make that change. Yes, it's absolutely tough. It's difficult. New logos, revised website, communication to customers, but it will most likely be worth it in the long term. My good friend and 2023 Content Entrepreneur of the Year, Jay Klaus, went through a rebrand of his own last year, which has also led to amazing results. I'll put a link to his story in the show notes for this podcast. And speaking of CEX, CEX24, the Content Entrepreneur Expo, is now open for registration. After a successful first two years of this event, we believe our renewed focus on being the event for content entrepreneurs only makes this event a better option for you, the serious content creator. If you're a blogger, a writer, author, podcaster, video creator, or multi-hyphenate creator looking to take your content business to the next level, we want your in-person networking home to be CEX. The space is limited. We're keeping this event small to maximize the value for you. The event will be in Cleveland, Ohio at the newly remodeled Marriott Renaissance Hotel, May 5th through 7th, 2024. Please go to cex.events, cex.events to register now for the best possible price. And I hope to see you there in person. Thanks again for all you do. And I'll talk to you next Monday.